Image compression might not be the sexiest topic to talk about when it comes to creating websites, but with so much emphasis on page experience and the obvious user and therefore conversion benefits that come from having a faster website, it is something that we need to talk about. Today, I'm going to be discussing Imagify, a plugin that not only makes image compression super easy, but it does a pretty impressive job of it too. And although it is pretty easy to use, make sure you stick around because I'm also going to be showing you some of the settings that you might want to tweak to make sure you get those page speeds up to 99. Now, there are tons of ways to improve your site speed and you'll have to have the basics in place such as a lightweight theme, good hosting, not being too plug-in heavy, but images and other rich media are far and away the biggest culprits when it comes to slowing down your site. Luckily, there are tons of tools out there to help you compress your images, and I've used probably most of them. But there are two key things that you need to know when it comes to image optimization, and that is to have your images properly sized and to have them appropriately compressed. If you can have them served in next-gen formats such as WebP, then even better. And luckily, Imagify promises to do all three of these things, so let's take a look at it in action. So the first thing to know is that Imagify is a WordPress plugin. So to find it, you can just go to your WordPress site, go to plugins and search for Imagify, and it's this one here. You can also check it out using the website, and there's plenty of information on here, but essentially it tells you what it does, which is to, to make the whole process of image optimization super, super simple. And you, you can use the, the dashboard that they give you, but you don't have to, you can do everything from the plugin itself. If you do go to the homepage of their site, they have this really nice visual tool that shows you the difference between an optimized and a non-optimized image. And you can see here that this unoptimized image has a 1.2 megabyte file size, whereas the Imagified or the compressed image has a file size of 0.4 megabytes. Now for me, I can't really see visually any difference between the two there. So that just kind of gives you an idea as to the, the visual impact of the tool. In terms of cost, it's pretty cost effective. You can actually access the starter package here for free, and it is completely free. It worked perfectly, I tested it, and that gives you around 200 images. Obviously, it depends on the size of those images, but for some people just starting out, that is probably going to be enough. Now, I actually went for the unlimited package because I quickly went over the, the 20 megabytes because I put it on a website that was already well established. But the $9.99 a month package gives you unlimited bandwidth. So you can actually apply this to multiple websites. So if you've got 20 websites, it's still only gonna cost you $9.99 per month, which is pretty good. And if you go yearly, then it works out a little bit cheaper again. And I think that's pretty good value for what this tool does. So inside the dashboard, this is what you get. You can optimize your images directly from here. So if you want to optimize them before you pop them on a website, or if you're using them elsewhere and you just want to have those images optimized, then you can do that from here and you get two levels of compression. You get the lossless compression and then you get smart compression. Now I'm not going to go into what those are at the moment. I'm going to, I tend to use smart, which essentially means that the tool itself is going to identify the, the right level of compression before you start to see degradation. And, and this is going to give you a little bit better compression than you're going to see with the lossless level. But if you're desperate to not lose any image quality whatsoever, then you can just choose lossless and you're still gonna get a good level of compression. You can also optimize by page. So you can pop your URL in here, launch the optimization tool. I'll show you what this does. It actually will go through, optimize, it'll retrieve and optimize all your images and then you can download them all and then you can apply them yourself if you want to. But let's be honest, most of us are just going to be using the plugin directly from the site itself. So there are two main places you access Imagify from your site. The first is within settings and then Imagify, and then the other is within media and you have this bulk optimization 
tool here. So we're just inside the settings here and I'm just gonna show you a couple of things that you're probably going to want to switch on. So the first is this display images in WebP format on the site. Now, by default, this is not switched on. So you're gonna to wanna to tick that to allow those images to be displayed in WebP format. Now, you have two options here. I just stick with the preferred option. Now, if you are using a CDN, you will have to put that in here. Um, but if you're not using a CDN, then you could use the use rewrite rules, but this works perfectly fine in most situations. I'm using Generate Press, so it tells me that I can optimize the theme as well. Now, again, by default, this is not ticked. I've already ticked it, but you're gonna to want to go in and tick that, and that will also optimize the theme and, and the way in which the theme displays images. I would have all of these boxes ticked here, and you can resize larger images to a smaller width. Now, I will probably take this down a little bit from where it's at at the moment. In fact, I am gonna change that down to 2048, and then everything else can stay as it is, and you can hit save changes once that's done. So the bulk optimization tool is actually in here and you can see that all of my images have been optimized. So there were 141 images in there, which originally were 156.9 megabytes. So you can see even there, I would have been within that 200 megabytes of free data processing. And then the optimized size of that is 65 meg. So we've saved 59% in terms of our image size just by using the tool. So if we look at this image here, we can see that this originally was just under 1.2 megabytes. If I go in and inspect that particular image, I can see that it's now pulling through at 132 kilobytes. So that's reduced it by almost 10 times. And it's also now pulling through as a WebP file format, where originally it was a PNG. And that's it, it's all done. As long as you select auto-optimize images on upload, then that's going to be done for you automatically. And one of the really good feature of this tool is that all your images are backed up, your original images. So we can actually go in here, we can see for this particular image what the saving was, but you can also go back and restore the original. So my verdict on Imagify, well, for me, it's going to be my tool of choice when it comes to image compression. And I'm not, this is not a sponsored video. I'm not on their affiliate program or anything like that. I just think that this is the easiest tool to use. It does a damn good job and it's really, really cost effective, especially for anyone with a portfolio of websites. Now that you've got your image compression sorted, make sure you're not making these mistakes that can kill your site's chances of success in an instant by watching this video. Guys, thanks very much for watching this. I hope you find that Imagify works for you and good luck with your projects.